Planet Wine and Company. Presents. White and Rose Vine Making. White wine making is most often made from white grapes, but in the case of Champagne, for example, it is made from dark-skinned grapes being made mostly from Pinot Noir grapes. This is possible because the color is contained in the skin and not in the pulp of the grape, and in white winemaking the skin is not used. In fact, the peculiarity of white winemaking is the absence or modest application of maceration, as such application would result in overly colored wines with coarse, herbaceous aromas and a tannic harshness that does not befit a white wine. In addition, the wines would be unstable and subject to rapid spoilage due to the presence of polyphenols that are highly oxidizable. We must make a clear distinction between the crushing stage and the pressing stage. Crushing involves crushing the berry with an extremely gentle mechanical action, but a substantial part remains attached to the skin, while pressing involves extracting that part. With pressing, therefore, the first and most important solid liquid separation takes place. The most common crushers are stemmers, while for pressing there are different types of machines. After this, we will obtain the must flour to prepare the wine. The must flour will undergo further cleaning, called clarification, to remove some of the turbidity. At this point, fermentation can begin, usually facilitated by the introduction of selected yeasts. Alcoholic fermentation is an exothermic process that produces heat and tends to warm the mass. For white wines, the optimum fermentation temperature is usually 17 to 23 degrees Celsius. At too high a temperature, the fruity aromas are burned out. Alcoholic fermentation lasts about one month, then follows stabilization, racking, filtration, refrigeration, and finally bottling. There are, however, to this basic procedure, numerous variations, such as winemaking with cryomaceration and barrel winemaking. Rosé wines are made by vinifying red grapes in white or by short macerations of red grape skins in the range of 24, 36 hours. The best results are obtained with grapes de-stemmed and cold macerated at a temperature of about 8 degrees Celsius until the desired color is obtained and slowing fermentation. After that, the colored must will be tapped and led to fermentation at a controlled temperature of about 16 to 18 degrees Celsius as for white wines. This will preserve the aromas and flavors, the most important qualities for this type of wine. The production of rosé wines is basically a process that begins in the same way as red wines and continues as with white wines. Rosé wines are less astringent than red wines and possess the freshness of white wines. Rosé wines are classified according to the method of production, into grey wine, van gris, blush wines, one-night wines, one-day wines, and saigné. Typically, Rosé wines undergo fermentation in inert vessels like steel or cement, and only occasionally in wooden containers such as barrels or barriques. They are usually ready by the spring after the harvest. Following the completion of fermentation and maturation, rosé wines are stabilized, filtered, and then bottled for sale. We look forward to seeing you in the next video, Planet Wine & Co. S journey will continue with the beautiful and varied world of new wines. Happy learning and having fun with our videos. A special thanks to all of you who came to the channel even out of simple curiosity or coincidence. A heartfelt and warm embrace to everyone. Delight in watching and listening to Planet Wine and Company. Make sure not to miss the next video as a new story will unfold.